Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever uh, heard of this word called a readme file? Have you ever heard of this term called a markdown file? A readme file is basically uh, a template for your projects and uh, this readme file will improve your projects for uh, and makes it look much better. And uh, sometimes this readme file will also improve your uh, open source social score. If you are new here, my name is Manu and I have done a lot of projects with uh, Flutter for a long time right now and I have been working with it uh, for a while. So I used to constantly post all my projects out there on um, a GitHub open source. Link to that in the description below. Uh, you can go and check that out if you want to. And a readme file will, uh, you know, has all the formatted text and it will obviously improve your, uh, you know, uh, code's uh, appearance. And basically if you are someone who is working in a team or uh, you, you constantly work with uh, in an open source project, you all know how important a readme file actually is so uh, basically in this video i will talk about what a readme file is how a markdown file works and uh, let's hop into this video so now let's talk about these readme files for a bit right now so stick to, stick till the end of the video I ha i'm having some uh, special tools which will make your life easier while writing a readme tools but for now let's talk about the basic readme stuff so uh, if you are someone who has written readme files in your uh, in your pro past projects or open source code you know what's the pain of writing it because uh, uh, writing a markdown file is not that easy because we are not used to it and most of us used to skip them when a GitHub, when you open a github it will ask for you to uh, create a new readme file but most of uh, us deliberately uh, give a skip on that and move on to the next one we never create a readme file that's because we are not uh, not aware what a readme file is or how to write a proper readme file so uh, basically a readme file uh, comes with an extension dot md uh, which the dot md extension is for a markdown markup language which basically means that it is a markup language like html but which focuses more on uh, like format formatted text and images so consider if i if i build an app or a software and this readme file will contain all the information about the code and the other files in that particular folder so if you have a, a folder and have a bunch of files in, inside that the readme file will also be inside that particular folder and this particular file readme file will contain all the information about the other files in that particular folder also it can also contain the information about the app or the software itself so consider i'm having an app uh, i want to add what the app does and what the code particular part of the code does i can add them i can have uh, gifs i can add images i can do whatever i want it's basically a formatted text editor so this markdown markup language is for creating formatted text like uh, for your projects so even I am also one of those kinds of people who struggled with writing, uh, writing a readme file and even I used to uh, skip uh, creating a readme file while posting my projects to github or any open source uh, software. But at some point of time I felt like I want to write this, I want to learn this and I went on to like various resources and on product hunt I found this tool called readme.so and this tool is such an amazing tool which will make your life easier and way better like you can uh, write a readme file way better than you can and, you know look at some documentation and write it or whatsoever and this readme to uh, dot so file will change the way you uh, write a readme file and it will make your life simpler we are on my laptop right now and now let me take you through how the app looks like how the tool which i told you uh, looks like so this is an amazing tool which will make your uh, you know the process of writing a readme file much more easier you can understand the markdown uh, language much better in this tool so just go on to google and type readme.so readme.so i searched it before so it's there and click on the first link it's the first link over there on google so it will take you to the home page of that uh, tool and uh, see uh, the easiest way to create a readme file and i found this on product and it's 100 percent free and this one is made by katherine peterson you can check out her on uh, github and twitter if you want to you can also buy her a coffee if you wish to so long let's write jump uh, jump right into the tool itself just click on uh, get started and it will take you the, to this page and in this page you have two, uh, three sections the first section like this first part of the page is uh, they call it as sections and the second one is the editor and the third one is for previews 
So uh, when you start it, uh, the preview will be like this. Uh, you will have the title and description right there. You can change the title if you want to. Uh, I can change it like uh, YouTube. YouTube. If you, right, something like you. I can also change the description if I want to. Like I can change the description to this is it. Something like that. And as you can see, uh, the changes are seen at the right side of the screen in real time. So whenever I type something uh, more, it will, the changes are seen immediately in the uh, right side of the, uh, which is the preview screen. And uh, the editor will, it's like they are seen so seamlessly and you cannot acknowledge the difference itself. And uh, if I want to add some, uh, some other uh, sections, for example, if I want to add authors, just click on add authors. Uh, author section the author section will be added as you can see uh, you can edit the author section in the editor and the uh, author section is added next to the uh, you know title and description so if i want to change it to my name i can just like uh, type mono i can i can say like youtube whatever and i can also change the link so maybe something something like that and even if I want to, you know, uh, add uh, deployment uh, data, I can add what npm run deploy, so which is a command used for deploying most of the uh, no, uh, JavaScript tools which you can use. And I can add badges if I want to. So you can add uh, how many uh, things uh, like these badges are uh, something quite interesting. You you would have seen this in many projects on GitHub. You can add them if you wish to. And this is quite interesting because uh, you, we don't know how to create all these, uh, you know, syntax for creating these badges and writing this, uh, you know, linking a page from uh, like GitHub. So uh, this tool makes it easy for us. You can just like uh, click on what you want and go there and edit what uh, like what is necessary and leave what is unnecessary. So this is quite useful and the other one is you can also uh, you know rearrange them if you wish to. As you can see when I am moving the contribution up it is changed right, right away after the uh, title and description contribution is there. So now if I want the badges to be at the top I can just move badges to the top and badges is there. You can see badges on the top over here and once you did that you just copy this uh, when go to raw and copy this thing and go, go to your projects readme file paste it there and save it that's it no no other uh, work to do it's so simple and if you care more about the light theme and dark theme yes they are having this light theme and dark theme se section as well you can just uh, toggle it be between both the th themes if you want so uh, this is such an in interesting app which will make your uh, journey of writing uh, readme file much more uh, easier and like a breeze so that's it for me guys uh, thank you so much for watching if you want to check out the tool the link is in the description you can also check out my uh, github profile the link is also in the description so thanks so much for watching see you guys next one bye bye